posture check, Kings. I know we're feeling a little bit like, oh, you know, it's a little bit tired. Scooting your chairs all the way. Please make sure that we are sitting up straight, hands off of our faces. Excellent. Exemplary posture from Diana. Exemplary posture from Jada and Layla. Make sure I still have your eyes on the Good morning, Kings. Good morning. Good morning. Today, you get a chance to see your scores on your first essay from me, and you'll get a chance to revise. So here's what will happen in just a moment. We will talk about, am I, the purpose of feedback in this class. My commitment to you is I always put in a due date for myself of when I need to get your work back to you. For essays, it's usually going to take me three or four days, and then for exit tickets, it's usually a one or two day turnaround. Okay? There you go. And the eyes, hands off the page for the next time. Sit there your face. Which means right now, you are going to get to see your feedback, but, but, program. Go ahead and silently turn that page. Since I, I think each other being our early thing to start for your computer, I can text. Since I am the one who is spending literally hours giving you feedback, you know that you will be great at all the way that you respond to my feedback. It's something that is meant to help you grow. It's not something where I just sit there and input comments just for the heck of it. I'm like, oh yeah, this is how I want to spend my Friday night. No, I really want to make sure that you are growing and able to implement that feedback well. So we're going to talk about what does that look like? How will you actually be graded? Who said if you knew that on the PDA there's actually a strand for feedback? Yeah, no, I didn't think I'd see any cosine. There is. So we're going to talk about what that looks like. I know that we usually start with our mantra. I'm going to save that until a little bit later so that we can jump immediately in. I know you're impatient to look at your feedback for those of you who have it, those of you who don't want it quickly. Eyes and text, we're going to start with our first bullet point where it says your vision means loud and proud Devin. The vision means to see with new eyes and rising is thus your opportunity to reconsider, rethink, and reframe your argument. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Next bullet point out, loud and proud, feedback. Try one more time, make sure all of us can hear you. Go. Excellent. Eyes. Thank you, Layla, for your eyes. Thank you, Ryan. Almost 100% get there. Every time that I give feedback, it is not meant, Tyler, to be something to discourage you. So know that if I'm adding tons of comments, it's not because I thought your work was crap. It's because I know you can push yourself to improve how to do So when you see, and I tried to leave, I think I left at least four or five comments for everyone. Those are meant to push your thinking on how you can make your work even better and take it to the next level. Let's look at the rubric. I know that the four is dark. But all the criteria are listed at the side. Get ready for cold calls so we can read them out quickly, and that means we'll get to revise sooner. Tyler, read number one for us. Scholar creates. Oh, scholar creates the central revision, the lead and adding significantly revising the report. Reordering posting to search. Thanks, sir. Scholar labels all revisions made by using the comment function. Number three, Diaz. <clears throat> For feedback, the scholar did not want to take a clear and thoughtful, rational is given, or oh, rationale is given in the form of a comment. Good. Do you have any questions for that voice? Well, you put a star by that third one. We're going to come back to it. Maybe start taking your page in the client. We need to be adding that star for number three. And read our last one, please. Try it loud and proud. Try one more time. I'm not sure that Diaz can hear all the way back. Go ahead, love. Scholar applies advice for one body paragraph to the other body paragraph as appropriate. Excellent. Try to start by that one as well. Let's talk about number three. What does number three mean for your choices as an author? I'm not sure that question was clear enough. Did anyone notice something? What are you allowed to do when you see my feedback? Hands raised. Seth. You don't have to take it. Yeah, Hosein, have you noticed that? You do not have to take my feedback. You might say, you know, Ms. Perkins, I actually really like my choice as an author. I'd rather keep it, David, the way that I already did it. Totally fine. You just need to explain to me why was your team, or why was your choice as an author intentional, and then we can move on. I'll see very clearly why it is that you decided to do what you did. 
Look now at the fourth one. If I leave a comment in your document, Camille, that says check capitalization, and I highlight it, maybe your first assertion, should you just revise that assertion spread? No, where else should you check? Yeah, everywhere in the draft. I didn't note it everywhere because if I had to check all of your capitalization, all of your comments and things like that for every single David sentence, then I would leave you 20 comments and no one has time for that. You don't have time to read them, I don't have time to write them. So know that you want to take that feedback and apply it throughout. Let's drop down to the bottom and then you'll get a chance to jump into your revisions. Misconceptions. Know that writers do not have to act on all the feedback.